seconds I want to show you how we can use uh, the simulation for the active motion uh, so basically here we can just uh, define you know what is the position of the cannon uh, respect the ground so you can have it just at the ground level that would be uh, when this is just zero here okay uh, you can move this angle or change this angle just by uh, moving the cannon in this way okay what else uh, you can change the type of projectile that you are going to be uh, launching it could be a cannonball it could be a golf ball a baseball etc so we're going to use a cannonball here uh, if you want to include air systems you can just do it by clicking on this box you can also show the velocity vectors for example the components of the velocity why the projectile is just uh, you know uh, moving to the air and you can also show the acceleration vectors either the total acceleration vector or the components or both uh, look at these uh, the components of the velocity are arrows in green <clears throat> the components of the uh, acceleration are yellow arrows <clears throat> now suppose that you have an angle here you say okay I will see what happens when I have an angle of 30 degree and my cannon is just on the ground zero meters you know so it's exactly on the ground and then by this knob I can just modify the initial speed right of, 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 of the projectile so we use the initial speed of uh, 12 meters per second so when I have you know the position of my can here the angle and the initial speed of the projectile I just click on this <clears throat> uh, symbol I it will fire you know the projectile <clears throat> so as you can see it describes a parabola if now I want to measure you know how far uh, is the projectile landing respect the uh, cannon what I have to do is just to take uh, this um, measurement tape and then I just measure you know the land from the base of the cannon to the place where the projectile was landing in this case 12.62 meters you can just return this back here okay what else you can do you can now for example use these to know exactly or at a given point what was exactly the exact values of time you know the range and and height and means uh, so uh, at what instant of time you know was the projected at this point uh, how far the range how far from the base of the uh, cannon was the projectile at this point right and how high respect the ground or above the ground was the projectile at this point you can move this over here you can just put in this place uh, at this exact point where it was landing and you can also measure you know what was the range remember that we can measure the range also using this uh, measurement tape and you can find the total time of flight that was one second and uh, sorry once 1.22 seconds so one second and 22 uh, fractions of, uh, of a second right so uh, this is what you can do here right you can now you want to increase uh, the initial velocity so you will see what happens so now the range was greater also the uh, uh, maximum high of the projectile uh, was greater you can in increase uh, the angle right to 45 degrees remember that 45 degrees is the angle where we reach the maximum range we fire and then this is you know uh, the uh, range we obtain we want to see what is the ma maximum maximum range we just move uh, this uh, device that let us find time range and height and we see that the maximum range was 26.1 meter the time of flight was 2.31 seconds right uh, for that given angle of 45 degree you know 
so this is basically you know how this simulation work okay so uh, if you include air systems you're gonna see that now with air systems uh, the parabola should not be you know uh, that symmetric that means if we don't have error systems uh, the parabola is, uh, is symmetric uh, there is a difference in the it's a, it's a very small difference but there is a difference in the landing point when you have error system and when you don't have error systems right uh, of course when we have we have error systems is landing you know the range is, is just smaller so it's just landing closer to the cannonball to, to the cannon sorry uh, there is not a big difference here you know uh, because of the initial speed uh, and the type of projective we are just launching but there is a difference so the parabola is um, really symmetric you know with perfect perfect symmetry respect the uh, axis of symmetry which you have over here is the problem blue that is when you don't have a resistance uh, so this is basically you know what you can observe uh, using the simulation we can have for example other uh, options here right where for example you can just change the diameter of the cannonball you can change the mass of the cannonball right you can include or not air resistance okay you have the velocity components the acceleration components you know the force vectors so you show sorry you uh should uh the projectile now here you see how the components of acceleration and velocity you know are changing uh you just click on the components because that was with total and then look at you know how the vectors are changing it's a very interesting simulation that illustrate you know what happened with a projectile so i strongly recommend you know that you go over the simulation and practice and and explore the different options and also of course that is going to give you uh, a very good idea right about uh, uh, this pediment.